Hello guys, welcome back in the Laravel 5.8 video tutorial and in this video we are going to learn about the controller. So these are the um, some points that we are going to cover in this video. So one is how we can uh, make the controller with the command line, how we can write the function inside the controller, how we can uh, how we can call the controller from the uh, routing uh, and, the, and how we can pass the parameter from the browser and how we can why the controller is important okay so now let's get started with the command line uh, first thing is where the controller uh, is uh, present okay so for that you have to go inside the app file and here you will find a folder with the name of http inside you will find the one more name uh, which is the controllers in this folder your all controllers should be uh, come here when you write the uh, controller with the command line the controller will be uh, written here okay the second thing we have to call the controller from the routing file for that you have to go uh, inside the route uh, routes folder and in the route folder just click on the web.php and here you need to call that controller okay so now just uh, start with the command line so i'm going to open this folder then you can see that there is a one file which is the predefined in the laravel which is a controller.php so i'm going to write a new controller for that just write here php artisan make controller name like uh, youtube and just hit the enter oops that's my bad just write the controller and at the last the controller name which is the youtube and hit the enter now you will see that you got the new controller with the name of controller.php okay so first thing is the clear how we can write the command with the uh, controller with the command lines so i'm going to delete them uh, how we can write the function for the function just uh, write here public function like index and just echo something echo hello from youtube nice now uh, third one is uh, call from the routing then how we can call this function so that we can watch the output here okay for that just go to the web.php which is present in the routes folder just click here and write the new uh, route for that okay and if you don't know about the routes you can watch our previous video link is given in the description box also just write it get and inside the get just first write the user so let's say the my uh, route name is a site okay and just write here youtube at the rate function name so my function name is index nice and just uh, now call it with the site and you will see that hello from the youtube is we can easily able to see here nice now next step is how we can pass the parameters okay so before that i'm going to show you that how we can get the json data here so for that just write a return and just write a simple array like site and like you can write here youtube nice and now you will see that uh, a json format here okay so for now i want to pass this site name is u2 from here then how can i get this it will go into error for that just go to the web.php file put a slash here and just inside the curly brackets uh, just put the site or whatever you want to put and here uh, just call dollar site and the same variable you have to pass here with a dollar site okay now just try to call it and you will see that we got the youtube here with the misspell sorry okay so if i put it in google then i will got the google here yahoo everything we can get here okay so uh now the last question is uh 
uh, why the controller is important so yeah in the web.ph file you can see that i directly call the view here i can directly write the code here in the previous video i just uh, do the code directly here then why we ne uh, need to the controller because uh, in the mvc uh, the controller is a main feature of the mvc and uh, in the controller you can uh, call the uh, you can fetch the data from the database and you can also call the view here you can write the logic here and you can write the as many as you function you want to call it and this is the centralized uh, uh, you can say that kind of data so it can be nice to written here okay so for example i want to get the data uh, data from the database with the email id and name and i want to show you in the uh, view file so what i will do i will write the query here or i will call the model inside the controller and after the getting the data inside my variable i can pass it inside the view here so from the controller function i can directly call uh, anything and i can pass the data anything anything from here to there okay that's why the um, we can say that the uh, controller is the very important and this is the nice to uh, write the code inside the controller here okay so thanks guys thanks for watching this video don't forget to subscribe our channel like this video if you have any kind of question any suggestion then you can comment me in the comment box also so thanks guys thanks for watching this